everybody, welcome back. It's good to be back and I've got this silly little video for you. I call it Quickie Queso because it's one of my favorites and it only takes you five minutes to make this. You can take this to parties. It's pretty impressive. You can make a huge crock pot or you can make a little bit. And since it's baseball season and I'm making this for the game tonight, so I thought I'm sharing it with you. And this is gonna be my dinner because I actually, I actually enjoy dip for dinner. I know that's crazy. But this is how quick this is. You're only gonna need three ingredients to do this. If you wanna add more stuff, peppers or whatever, that's up to you. But I enjoy just these three little things. We've been doing this for years in my family and I wanna share it with you. So all you're gonna need is the Velveeta cheese. We were all raised on this stuff and they have a new one now. It's called Mexican Velveeta cheese. You're gonna love it because it's easier. You don't have to add the Rotel. And you get the Hormel tamales, just the store-bought Kroger brand tamales. And they come in this little can, they're perfect. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cut up your cheese and you're gonna cut up your, you're gonna cut up your cheese and you're just gonna microwave it. And you can add two caps of milk if you'd like. Add two caps of milk, you can do that. But this is how easy this is, guys. Get your Velveeta and I'm, oh, and oh my God, before I get to, before I go on, my drink of the day. Cause it's Cinco de Mayo coming up and I thought, you know, I'm gonna make this a little Cinco de Mayo deal. So, is this Limerita stuff. I've never gotten store-bought margaritas before. I actually like this. It's kind of a combo between a wine cooler and margarita. I like it, and my vintage glass of the day is Miss Piggy 1981, put out by McDonald's. Can you believe that? You used to get those at McDonald's. So anyway, I enjoy, I'm actually enjoying this, and I really like it. So come on back here real quick. Let me show you this. Uh, all you're gonna do is dice up your, your uh, queso. And as you can see, I've already started. And you just cut up the queso. The smaller the pieces, guys, the quicker it microwaves. So just add those, add your little squares. Everybody's done this. Whoops, everybody's done this. Add your two caps of milk. And if you wanna you know, measure it precisely, you can do two tablespoons, but this is all you're gonna need. And then you're gonna take your tamales. Here's one of your tamales. They come in the can, you get like six. You're gonna go long ways. Just like you open up a hot dog like that, you're gonna go long ways and you're gonna dice this. Just dice this really, really tiny and add this to your mix. Add this to your mix. That way you get your little bit of meat in there. You know, like I tell you, and people will not believe it. They will start eating it. They'll come over to you and go, what's in that? You know, what's in the queso? Is there sausage? Is there beef or what? And you just, when you tell them it's just store-bought tamales, they're like, what? And you just add little chunks and that's how good it is. So, you know, you decide if you want to add the milk, if you want to make it spicier, or if you want to do the tamales. You don't have to do the tamales. You could just do regular. But like I tell you, we've been doing this for years and, and I know it's popular and it's easy for me. And this takes five minutes. And through the magic of TV, I've already done a little bit. And here you go. And I wanted to shout out real quick, Sunflower Slots. I didn't have my board, but I love her channel. She's kind of quiet. She doesn't make a big deal. I don't even know what she looks like. I've been watching her for over a year and she really wins. She spins, she wins. She has a great time. So can you hear the long guy? Yeah, I can hear it. It's pretty loud. So anyway, I'm gonna try this. And it's already, and look how good it looks, guys. It looks spicy, it looks good. And let me try this. Mm. It's good. It's spicy and it's good. And this new cheese, this new cheese is gonna be easier than, than I did before because I used to have Rotel. Now I don't have to do that. Now I just take the cheese, add the, add the Hormel tamales and a little bit of milk and I'm ready to go. So try this out guys, check it to a party, football parties, baseball, put it in a crock pot if you want to, or make a little bit at a time like I do. I just make a little bit at a time. It's easier for me and I enjoy it. And happy Cinco de Mayo since it's coming up. I'll be, I have some other cool recipes, but you know, just quick ones. But try this little Rita, Rita stuff, Lime Rita. It was like, it's pretty good, pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I like it. So anyway, big kisses to everybody. Have a wonderful spring week. I hope it's sunny wherever you live. Okay, take care. Bye.